Hey, hello there, my first and second graders. Yes, this project is for grade one and two, okay? That's because we're approaching Halloween, and I was thinking about something that you could do that is Halloween inspired, but also inspired by the great artists that are around us, okay? And some of them we don't know. Now, this one, you're gonna love her, okay? She's a 91 years old, and she's still active, She's still traveling around the world. And it's a matter of fact, a couple of years she was here in New York and I went to see one of her shows. Okay, I mean, not in New York, in Washington DC, I'm sorry. And it was awesome. Now, her name is a pretty cool name too, okay? She is Yayoi Kusama. Yes, Yayoi, that's a pretty good, that's her first name. And Kusama, so Miss Kusama, that's how she's known around the world. She's an artist that has been very active for many years. She came to the United States in the 50s, and you wouldn't believe what, she loved Jackson Pollock. That's one of the things that decided, that made her decided to come here to the United States because she wanted to study abstract art like Jackson Pollock did here in New York City. Okay, so she was here for many years. Now she's back to Japan again, but she travels a lot. Okay, so she grew up part in Japan and part in here. And one of the cool things about her work is that she is fascinated about polka dots. And she put polka dots in everything. And she has those super cool giant pumpkins. Okay, do you see one here that I'm putting up for you? Those giant pumpkins full of polka dots and she puts polka dots everywhere. She fills up rooms of polka dots. She fills up trees, she paints trees. With, so polka dot is awesome. That's what she thinks and that's what we're gonna do. So if you have never drawn a if you have never drawn a pumpkin before, there's a very easy trick which I'm gonna show you, okay? And I'll show you here and then we're gonna move to the table so we can work from the table. Alright? So think polka dot because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it polka dots, okay? So let me show you the pumpkin here so you have an idea how easy it is to draw, okay? The trick to draw pumpkin is if you remember line and shape, line and shape, how we always talking about that. So think about a smile flip, right? You see? And then I put a frown. See that? And then what I do is I start adding to the side. Look, I add one here. And I go to the bottom. And then I start another one here. And I go to the bottom. Then I add another one. Look. And I do the same thing on the other side. So one side at a time, and I go to the other. See how easy? And then what I do is, I put a little oval shape here. Look. And I put a little cap. Right? Wasn't that easy? Okay, so we're gonna try that on the paper, all right? And I'm gonna put the steps at the end of the video too so you can see. And then we're gonna fill them up with polka dots all over the place, okay? Now, you know what? One cool thing when I went to see Miss Kusama is that when you entered the exhibition, they would give you a bag full of polka dot stickers. And they ask you to go around the museum putting polka dots and everything. So that was pretty cool. I really like it, you know, just sticking polka dots all over the place. That was pretty awesome. All right. So let's move to the table. Here we go. Okay. Now, if you have yellow paper, you can use yellow paper. Okay. But I you can use yellow paper. You can use white paper. Now, do you remember how we started? So maybe if I flip my paper, look, like this, see? Maybe we'll be able to see better. Look. Always draw with a pencil, remember, because if you make a mistake, you can always erase it, okay? So I'm gonna make a big smile, see? All right, a big smile. Then, I'm just gonna flip it, see? And I'm gonna put another smile. 
All right, so it's kind of like an oval shape, but it's not really oval. And then look, I'm going to move it back like that, okay? And then I'm going to start adding. Smart, look. I'll add one to one side, and I'll go to the bottom. You see how it started at the top, and I go to the bottom? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, look. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing one side at a time. Look. Okay, now I'm just going to add a little oval here. Look. And I'll add a little cap. Look, one, two little lines. And I close. Okay, there you go. There's my pumpkin. Now I have to start with a polka dot. So you can either use a black marker, you can use a black sharpie, or you can use crayons. It's up to you. Okay, now the best way to do the polka dots is to make one line of polka dots the same size. So let's do it from the center. So I'm going to go like this. Look, one polka dot. Two polka dot, three, now the second one I'm going to make a little small. the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to make a little smaller. Now, you see how I'm trying to get them in the same line? Now I'm going to make even a smaller. You ready? <laughs> Check it out! I made my Kusama art project. I want to see yours, okay? So remember one important thing. When you're filling out the polka dots, try not to leave white space, okay? And go ahead. Put polka dots all over the place, okay? Think that you're Miss Kusama, okay? Maybe if you're inspired, you could kind of like, you know, paint your hair red. <gasps> what did you say, Mr. Sosa? Paint your red hair? Oh, that's pretty cool, right? I kind of like that Miss Kusama red hair, right? It's a wig, okay? All right? Okay, my dear first and second graders, 
enjoy make sure you check miss kusama's story on a cartoon i put it here for you okay because she's awesome and remember she's 91 years old and she is still painting isn't that amazing right so let's go and i'll talk to you later bye bye